If you're a homeowner over the age of 55, then stop scrolling. Navigating the world of real estate can be a tricky endeavor, especially as we move further into our golden years. When it comes to tapping into home equity, many seniors are torn between two primary options, reverse mortgages and selling their homes. This article delves into the differences between these two paths, providing you with a comprehensive understanding to make informed decisions. What does selling your home entail? Selling your home is a straightforward concept. It involves listing your property on the market and transferring ownership to a new buyer in exchange for cash. Selling a home typically comes with costs like real estate agent commissions and potential repair or staging expenses. However, it offers a lump sum that can be used at the homeowner's discretion. Key Differences Between Reverse Mortgages and Selling Your Home 1. Ownership With a reverse mortgage, you maintain ownership of your home, provided you comply with the loan terms, which include living in the home as your primary residence, keeping it in good repair, and paying property taxes and homeowner's insurance. On the other hand, selling your home means giving up ownership entirely. 2. Financial Implications in a reverse mortgage, the cash you receive is tax-free and can be used for any purpose. It won't affect Social Security or Medicare benefits. But remember, it's a loan, so it accrues interest and fees over time, reducing your home's equity. Selling your home provides a one-time lump sum, which could be substantial depending on your home's value and market conditions. This sum is typically taxable and might impact means-tested benefits like Medicaid. Three. Lifestyle considerations. If you take a reverse mortgage, you can continue living in your home. This option may be ideal for those emotionally attached to their homes or for whom moving would be challenging. Selling your home can pave the way for a fresh start, potentially in a smaller, more manageable property or a more desirable location. It may also be a good opportunity to downsize or move closer to family. Pros and cons of both options. Reverse mortgage. Pros. You retain home ownership. The loan proceeds are tax-free. It doesn't affect Social Security or Medicare benefits. You can use the funds as you wish. Cons. It decreases your home's equity. Interest and fees can be high. You must maintain the home and pay property taxes and insurance. It may affect your heir's inheritance. Selling your home. Pros. You can access a significant lump sum of cash. It may provide an opportunity to downsize or relocate. No obligation to repay a loan. Cons. It typically comes with selling costs. It can be emotionally challenging to leave your home. Proceeds may affect means-tested benefits and are typically taxable. Choosing between a reverse mortgage and selling your home depends on various factors like your financial needs, lifestyle preferences, health conditions, and future plans. It's important to consult with financial advisors, real estate professionals, and loved ones to make a decision that aligns with your goals. Give us a like, hit that follow button, and share this video with your friends and family. Stay tuned for more tips on reverse mortgages and how they can work for you.